the back of Michigan State did. And I feel like, you know, we contain them for, you know, uh, it started getting scary when they got out to like 20. That's when we were like, oh, it's getting a little scary. But then we just pushed back uh, and went back to like 27, 30 and kept their all game. Just the offensive output in the first half. I mean, Carson's obviously red hot, but the execution was great too. I mean, every time there was a window to get the ball into at the rim, you guys got it. They're just, how come you function such a high level offensively uh, against this particular team? Well, we just scouted it. Uh, you know, we, most of it was just scouting. And, like their coaches is really telling us, hey, this is what's going to happen. Uh, and, you know, they know their stuff, so <laughs> exactly what they told me that was going to happen. So every time I slipped to the rim, sometimes there was just nobody there. Uh, or there was uh, Phil Booth or Colin Gillespie was really waiting for me. And that, you know, that's just an too. Were they kind of bailing on you, too, to go run out to somebody else? It looked like they were going one way and you were going to the rim. Right. Uh, I mean, our shooters had such, like, had such a gravity to them. Uh, they really were, like, concerned with keeping those guys, you know, off the ball. Um, that I just found got easy slips to the rim. But the, the defensive performance, too, what was working defensively? Uh, kept them under 25 in the first half. Uh, that's really good. They, you know, made them make tough shots, uh, especially Pascal, Pascal and Booth. Uh, make them make shots that they don't want to make. You know, Booth, um, Booth wants to get to the rim or wants to, you know, shot fake you, do that kind of stuff. Just stay up on that. And Pascal wants to barrel down the lane and dunk on you. Uh, and we made him, made him into a shooter. I know. Sweet 16 very straight. What does that mean? It means a lot. You know, every year I've been here, it's been a Sweet 16. Uh, but now we want to go further. Uh, you know, we've, last two times that's where it ended. Uh, and now he's got to be locked in and know we want to go further. You guys are going to play the winner of Tennessee and Iowa. Does this offensive performance give you more confidence than ever, no matter who wins that game? Um, yeah, you know, this is a great game, of course, but it, it, moving on, we still have to, you know, work extremely hard just to make sure we're ready for that next game, uh, whoever that is. I mean, um, a game like this, of course, is great. Um, but, you know, it doesn't mean that we're going to shoot like that in the next game. So we got to be ready. we got to be ready to play a game like we're going to miss every single shot and still be able to win. You know, it's, of course, a little exaggerated. But you got to be able to win even when your shot's not going in. And that's what you got to prepare for. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you had a career high in Ducks tonight. I mean, they were just leaving you open and playing all night. How good did that feel to just lay it in uncontested every time? Uh, it feels great. You know, it's just really credit to my coaches. Uh, they told me. How it was going to be. Uh, they told me what kind of stuff was going to be open. Uh, grew up some great, great plays for me as well. And then my teammates just got it to me. It seems like, at least going in beforehand, talking to the Nova guys at media, uh, they were a little bit unsure of how to deal with you, you know, being seven foot three, and that presented a big mismatch in size for them. How did you guys capitalize on that? Uh, honestly, we didn't even like you know throw it into the block just because we were you know getting so much on those slips. Uh, I feel like they were really concerned with our shooters, uh, as they should, as they well should be, of course. You know, uh, Carson was red hot. Klein was making some tough ones, um, and they really you know decided to really focus on that. Uh, sometimes switching out, sometimes just putting two guys on the ball just allowed me to get to the rim. Seems like Purdue really unleashed its arsenal, its full arsenal of weapons tonight. How do you guys use that going forward? Um, I mean, we've known, we've known what we have as a team. Uh, we know what kind of team we are. We know the things we're good at. Um, we're just going to continue with that, uh, continue working on the stuff we're good at, you know. Continue, like, the thing I think biggest is biggest for this team on offense is just our execution, uh, just cutting hard because we know how many good shooters we have. We know we have some good low post presence. And just guys, you know, scrapping on the boards as well. It's just about executing on offense, cutting hard, setting our guys up, setting good ball screens, that kind of stuff.